What are you doing here? Oh, what are you doing here? Well, I'm having a business meeting with my business partner, or at least I was until you came pounding on the door. You almost scared poor Jared half to death. What's going on? The reason that I'm here is, um, well, I'm here to see Jared because I just found out that he's been harassing my sister. Natalie. Yeah, apparently he wanted a job at BE. He wouldn't take no for an answer, so he turns around and buys half of our vineyard. It's just a little too coincidental for me, so I came here to find out what the hell's going on. Natalie's your, your sister. Yes, Buchanan is my maiden name. Wow, it's news to me. And yeah, no, I did want a job at BE. I mean, who wouldn't? It's a great company. But this was before our little card game and stumbling upon the opportunity of a lifetime partnering in our vineyard. So, yeah, the interview, that was just a coincidence. It wasn't an interview, it was an ambush. Ambush? <laughs> Getting a meeting with Natalie Cannon is a little hard, so I had to get a little creative, and she didn't appreciate it. Hmm. And like her sister here, she's got a bit of a temper, so. But look, I meant no harm. I was just looking for an opportunity. She give you the job? Of course she didn't. <laughs> What's the, the problem? The problem is that he's a liar. It's not a coincidence that he's here. He always has some sort of agenda. Jessica, you seem to be suggesting that I have some sort of reason for being here, which makes no sense because I don't even know you. Do I? Do I know you? No. You don't know anything about me. But it wouldn't be the first time that somebody tried to pull one over on my family. Well, and with Asa being recently deceased, it's understandable you'd be a little cautious. You knew Asa? Anyone in business knows him and knows the stories. But I had some free time on my hands recently. So I read a biography of your grandfather. God, they don't make him like that anymore, do they? No, they don't. And as I pointed out to your sister, with Asa gone, uh, there's going to be a number of runs on B.E. I was offering to help protect her interests. As I'm sure she told you. Yeah, she told me you were a jackass. Hey. That's what she said, Nash. She also said that we should be careful and that she didn't trust Mr. Banks. Okay, Nash. Despite how we met, because no one likes to lose at poker, least of all me, have our discussions been fruitful? I mean, is it fair to say that you and I are on the same page as far as the future of our vineyard? More than fair. Yeah. <phone rings> Tip of the bell. Oh, that's the cork distributor from Napa. <laughs> All right, um, let's see if he can cut us a deal. Yeah, tell him your partner's threatening you with screw caps. Well, that just might work. Okay. You two play nice, all right? Leo. Leo, yeah. So, uh, what can you do for me? Uh-huh. Now that we're finally alone, you want to tell me why you tried to ruin my life? If you want revenge for whatever it is you think that I did to you, come to me. Just leave my husband and my sister out of it. They're not responsible for what happened to you, and the truth is, neither am I. Oh, that could have fooled me. Okay, Jared, then what are you waiting for? Why don't you just tell my husband? Why haven't you? <sighs> oh, great. Right. Well, Leo says he needs to uh, think about it. Yeah, he'll come around. Yeah. Told him I had a line on some cheap cork from Brazil. Wasn't too happy. <laughs> See you wheeling and dealing. Yeah. You two okay? Work things out? Ah, yeah. You know, I don't blame Jessica for being suspicious. I'm just looking to move up. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. And I might have made a pass at her sister. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> and uh, just for the record, I'm uh, not too afraid for that redhead. I'm pretty sure she can take care of herself. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sleep. Good, I paid the sitter. You okay? I'm wired. Yeah, I can see that. Is that still about Jared? Because I'm telling you, he's got some smart ideas. I am sorry, I feel stupid about barging in on you guys before. It's all right, no harm, no foul. Just protecting your sister, right? I think he understands that. 
You know, I don't think there's that much to worry about. Unless there's something you know that I don't. Well, I know about Jared. I, he's your partner. Spoke too soon. Oh. I sang her a song and she went down. Well, you've got the magic touch. Oh, you're tense. Maybe you should sing to me. There was a young woman who swallowed a fly. A lie? A fly? <laughs> you know what you need. Hmm.